Perfect. Uzu wakulumayo. Ngitem mutni apila and that will enjoy this video. Please like the video if you enjoy the content, subscribe to the channel if you are subscribed and press the notification bell so that you can be notified every time when I post videos on this channel. So, as you all know, the South African Film and Television Awards took place on Saturday the 30th of September 2023. On this video, I've decided to share with you all the winners and deliberate on what I think about them. So the first category was the best supporting actress in a TV show. And in this category, there was Odell Devet from the Benelanders, Dieketeng Nisi from Eskim Sam, and Marion Holm from the Seido Stern. And the winner of this category was Odell Devet from the Benelanders. The second category, which was the best supporting actor in a TV soap, there were three nominees. The first nominee was, was Charlie Burkinen from the Benny Landers, with Gerald Stein from the, the Benny Landers, and Lukatle Holetsulunyana from Eskim Sam. And the winner of this category, which is the best supporting actor in a TV soap, was Uchali Burkinen. Third category is the best supporting actress in a telenovela. We had four nominees. The first nominee was Pesli Lindaba from Ikomora, Uprenda Mukwebo from House of Suite, Deli Malinga from Iritemshin, Sandiwe Horoge from Iritemshin. I won't lie, this category was really tough. As a result, I really expected it to be won by Uprenda Mukwebo from House of Suite. And I'm not saying this because I'm taking Ustandwe Horoge and Uteri Malinga for granted. They did very well. Also, especially Ndaba, she did very well on Nikomora. And we all don't know what is the criteria that they follow when they are picking up the winner. But I don't think Uteri Malinga was very effective on Redemption. I would have understood if this was on Umkoka. Now that you all know how effective she is on Umkoka and how much people love her. But yeah, I was not even on the panel that selected the winners so yeah Uteli Malinga was announced as the best supporting actress in a telenovela for her role in Redemption the best supporting actor in a telenovela we had six nominees on this category there was a Charles Baloi from Ikeani the land of blood Ayana Tewete from Ikomora Ukaya Mtembo from Ikomora Tulani Mtueni from Ikomora Tabongs Wanda Zuma from A House of Sweet Day. And the award was taken by Utulani Mtweni, who plays the character of Ubongani on Ikomora. The best actress in a TV soap category, there was Usindi Swanapol from the Penny Landers, Urefile Motumo from Generations The Legacy, Elizabeth Serunye from Skim Sam, Harriet Manamela from Skim Sam. And the best actress in a TV soap was won by Usindi Swanapol from the Penny Landers. The best actor in a TV soap. In this category, there were three nominees. The first nominee was Clint Brick from the Penny Landers, Melusim Pele from Scandal, Ivan van der Merve from Isai Doster. And the winner of the best actor in a TV soap was Melusi Mpele from Scandal. The best actress in a telenovela had the following nominees. Omate Pomoleme from The House of Suite, Homoto Christopher from The Legacy, Michelle Bortes from The Legacy, Joanne Reineke from The Estate, Tulufelo Machaba from The River, and Usindi Lato from The River. I know that everyone expected Usindi Lato in this one, and I for one am glad that she did not take it home. So this category of the best actress in a telenovela was taken by U Michelle Bortes for her role on The Legacy. I think we can all agree that U Michelle killed this role. The best actor in a telenovela category. In this category, we have David Minar from The Legacy, Utemba Naba from Redemption, Presley Chunia High from The River, and Lawrence Malega from The River. I must say, I was also expecting this category to be taken home by Presley Chunia High, and also Utemba Naba, guys, he really deserves one award at least. Imagine if you could die now, and I'm not wishing him death or anything. I think Utemba Naba has done a lot for South African television. Since he never got anything for the brutal character on The Queen, he really deserved this one. But unfortunately, this one was won by 
Lawrence Malega. So Lawrence Malega is officially the best actor in a telenovela. And I have I'm not saying that Lawrence did not deserve this one. But I mean, my cons were on a press list and I think Lawrence Malega won enough awards last year. Come on. And the best TV soap category, we had three nominees. The first nominees were the Badlanders, the second one was Scandal, and the third one was Sea Doster. And this category was won by Scandal. On the best telenovela category, we had Aaron Flay, The Legacy, The Black Door, The River, and The Wife. And the category was won by Chesa Pictures, The Legacy. I don't know how Chesa Pictures won this one, but I've understood if they won in the river. I think the most deserving production house for this was in The Wife, which is produced by Stained Glass Production. I mean, if The Lakers was cancelled because no one was watching it, so how did they win? Best in the novella category? Something's not right about this one. Go to Akseenan. Let's move to the best supporting actress in a TV drama. So in this category, it was Nicole Holm, Shaman Mtinta from Makoti, Jennifer Stein, Untati Moshesh from The Savage Beauty. And this category was taken home by Untati Moshesh from The Savage Beauty. I really loved her character on The Savage Beauty. And she delivered a very good acceptance speech. There was a point where I was so tense because I knew what her speech could do to her career. You know, I was so, I was so scared and praying that she says all the right words because one wrong word, her career would have been over within, within a blink of an eye. So congratulations to her. So, the next category is the best actor in a TV drama. And the category has the following nominees. Umotu Simukano, which is one of the good actors in SA. And guys, please hear me well on this one. Umotu is among the greatest actors in South Africa, but I would have cried if he had won this category. What he Blood Sams did to SA actors can't be undone. And no one from it deserves any award. Um, so another nominee was Usiabo Ngatwala from his role as Ungwati on Hostela Season 3, Umon Visa on Justice Serve Season 1, Tony Koroge from The Brave Ones. And the winner of this category, which is the best actor in TV drama, was Umon Visa. You know, on this one, I really wanted Usiabo Ngatwala to win. I think Justice was not served for his role on Isibaya, and I think that these awards are not giving him enough credit. I mean, look at his role on The Legacy, but I doubt he ever received any award for it. And I'm not saying that Umon Visa did not deserve the award or is not good. He is probably a good actor, but unfortunately, I don't know any of his work except for his role on Justice Saved. So I know how good he was there because I've watched the show. But guys, I've also watched the hostel. Ausia Bonga Chola really killed that Mwati character there. So for me, Nanja Ausia Bonga really deserved this award. So another category was the best actress in a TV drama. In this category, the nominees were as follows. Utano Tabete on her role on The Housekeepers, Lera Tumvelase on her role on Justice Served, Rosemary Zim on A Savage Beauty. And this category was won by Ulera Tumvelase, which is well deserved. In the best supporting actor category in a TV drama, there was Om Pomotekwane, Craig Upani from Umakoti, Udon Nawamlangen from Umakoti also, Uzain Meas from Lodig, and Jason Williams from Upetina Wetu. And this category was won by Craig Upani from Umakoti Season 2. On the best TV drama category, we have Blood Sounds, Donker Boss, Justice Saved Season 1, Levish, and The Brave Ones. And the best TV drama award went to The Levish, which is produced by Iela Media. And the best supporting actress in a TV comedy. And on this category, we had the following nominees Motilize Culver, Mila Guy, Denise Zimba, Kate Normington. And the winner of the best supporting actress in a TV comedy was taken home by Kate Normington. In the category of the best supporting actor in a TV comedy, we have Yo, Charles Petudent. Oh, Bezu Down. Hey guys, forgive me for chowing the same name, but I don't know how to read it. Desmond Dube, Trevor Kumbi, and Warren Masemula. And the winner was Desmond Dube. And in the category of the best actress in TV comedy, there is Samoan Pristorias, Utano Tabete, Utulia, Anastasophopoulos. Yo, guys. 
And the winner of this category was Utandu Tabete for her role on How to Ruin Christmas Season 3. In the category of the best actor in a TV comedy, there's U James Bothwick, U Michael Mabizela, and U Toby Crunch. And the winner is U James Bothwick. And on the category of the best TV comedy, we have U Hotel Season 5, How to Ruin Christmas Season 3, and Tali's Job Egg Diary. And the winner of this category was How to Ruin Christmas Season 3. In the category of the best short film, we had Kojito Erosam, I think therefore I am. I don't know this thing, Mina. Katvis, what is that? Yeah, and I think this is Africans, guys. Mina, But I'll try reading it, okay? It's Limtes and Lichet. Or Lit. Fuck. Okay, whatever it is, guys. But the winner in this category was Kojito Ikosam. I think, therefore, I am. And in the best supporting actress in a feature film category, we had the following nominees Ngobile Sipamla, Indalo Stofile, Away to Sharon Hleli, Ukayagazi, Kula. And the winner of this category was Away to Hleli. And the best supporting actor in a feature film category, Tazuta Borameti, Abdurakman Adams, Arnold Foslo, Chris Chameleon. And the best supporting actor in a feature film category was won by Chris Chameleon. The best actress in a feature film. In this category, we had Monique Rockman, Tumisa Kosa, Unokolo Jamini, Utumi Yakengumla. And the winner of this category was Unokolo Jamini. And on the best feature film category, there was a film called Gaia, if I'm not mistaken, Silverton Siege, and Wild is the Wine. And this category was taken home by Gaia. There was also a category of the best presenter. And this category was won by Utseho Koke from MTV. And the category which I think was the biggest category of the night was the most popular TV soap or telenovela. And on this category, we had the following nominees. There was Aaron's Flay, Ben Landers, Deep City, Deb and Jen, Generations, Gianni, Gomora, House of Suite, Mbeo the Seed, Legacy, Mubango, Redemption, Scandal, Kim Sam, Sweet Yester, The Black Door, The Estate, The River, The Wife, and Uzalo. And the winner for the most popular TV soap or telenovela went to The Scandal. So, those are your 17th annual South African Film and Television Awards winners. Congratulations to all of them and this is the end of this video. If you enjoyed content on this video, please like, subscribe if you haven't subscribed and press the notification bell so that you can be notified every time when I post videos on this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Let's engage again on the next video.